test one, two, 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 two. Roger Hughes from the Agrolites, organ player. And I'm Jesse Wagner, the Agrolites keyboard, I mean, guitar player. So you can play keyboard too, though. Sometimes. A lot of people don't know about it. We're over here in Florida. We're on St. Augustine. St. Augustine. Allowed to have beer on the streets. It's my favorite Beautiful part. shop here, many of uh, the shows. Getting ready to play a killer show. Some rock steady and some beer. Drinking some killer whale. Killer whale. pottery class together we were both uh, doing pottery and, and at that point I never talked to him he didn't talk to me and then we, we were in dance class so we well, I, mean, I didn't know that you were in dance class I was in dance class in the back yeah so. and I was like hey, you're in my dance class right so then we started our own we started teaching our own class which was called dance pottery and it was a combination of you know a couple seconds of, of pottery and then a couple but seconds dance of moves dance. while you're doing it like yeah yeah you gotta get the foot thing going and yeah Long story short, it only lasted one semester, and uh, there was only three people that joined our class. Yes, yeah. but how we really met was... Well, it's kind of a mixture of two bands. Jesse was in a band called The Rhythm Doctors, I was in a band called The Vessels, and we kind of just met because of the common interest in the same kind of music, which was original rock city music from Jamaica, um, you know, UK revival music called skinhead reggae. And so we kind of, you know, two and two, it just all added up. So we, we formed a band called the Agrolites. And so now, as it stands right now, me and Jesse are the only original members. And, you know, I plan to die with him in the same casket. Very on top of each other. Out of being, we're from Los Angeles, so being based out of Los Angeles, uh, there was a band called Hepcat. Uh, yes. And they were the only band playing old school ska. And uh, for me personally, that was the band that introduced me to want to go out and find what they sounded like. So through that, you know, started buying a lot of uh, Trojan compilations and uh, Heartbeat and uh, got a lot of those. And from there on out, just started getting into it and uh, with the band there was no band playing reggae at the time I mean there was bands playing reggae but not old school like Roger was saying like skinhead reggae UK reggae and uh, we wanted to we wanted to put that on the map so we started fiddling around yeah man yeah we both came from different bands and uh, a lot of these bands were collaborating at, at a time, you know? So we all got to know each other playing the same shows. Like the Whiskey A Go Go had a ska show maybe twice a month at the time. I think the common interest was this music. And, and the reason why we don't stray from this brand of reggae is because I think this era of Jamaican music is so powerful that it will touch people. You know, I've been listening to this music since I was in sixth grade. You know, I know Jesse was really young as well. So, you know, I'm, I'm 31. Jesse's 32. 32, and we're still listening to it, you know? Loving it too, yeah. If there's a band that influences you out there that you really like, get to know what they like, and you might find yourself uh, in a whole genre of music that you never found before, you know? said reggae got soul and I think uh, it was originally soul music that me and him were raised on and that probably like opened our ears to noticing you know what, what they were doing in Jamaica back in the 60s. Yeah. 